Hey, Volley Truthers, this is Coach Johns with the Volley Truth. We're gonna do something a little different for the next few weeks. We are going to bring you a little mini series. I have been asked to do something on stats. Since stats can be a daunting task for most, including me, I'm going to break these into small mini series so that maybe we can help each other out and learn together. You know, the I do, we do, you do method. So there will be six episodes covering attacking, setting, serving, passing, defense, and blocking. I'm going to try, but do not hold me to it, to throw in some definitions, some outcomes, stat specifics, and possible pitfalls and common misconceptions. Now, before we get into this, let's establish one thing off the bat. Volleyball is one of the hardest sports to keep stats for. Why? Well, because the game is just so darn fast. It's hard to keep up with the ball, let alone a stat. They say when keeping volleyball stats, it's best to follow the golden rule, which is to relax. Well, that's a word that doesn't even register in my vocabulary. So this is why statting is one of my weak areas. But look, I'm, I'm gonna try. So just stay tuned and let's try to enjoy this ride together. But I am not gonna leave any guarantees to this. So just bear with me. Volley Truthers, let's serve up some stats on the serve. The truth is the number one concept in volleyball that is totally under the player's control is the serve. Let's begin by defining the serve. The serve is the initial hit of a point or start of a rally. Here are some outcomes or results that can come from the serve. Number one, service ace. Number two, service error. Or number three, zero serve. What is a service ace? A serve that meets any of the following. One, hits the floor untouched. We love this one. Number two, contact is made, but the ball is not returnable, otherwise known as a shame. Yeah. Or three, a violation is called on the receiving team. An example of this would be if a team is called out of rotation. No players can overlap with players directly in front or behind them, or directly to the left or right of them. What is a serving error? A serving error can be any of the following action. One, the ball doesn't go over the net. There's really no explanation needed, right? <laughs> Two, the ball goes out of bounds. It can go outside the antennas. Sidelines. <laughs> hits the antenna. Out the back line of the opponent. <laughs> Number three, the server foot falls. This means the server's foot touched the line before releasing the ball. When serving, your foot must neither touch the line nor your side of the court if you haven't yet hit the ball. To serve properly, your foot must not touch your side of the court. Number four, serving team is out of rotation, meaning that more than likely the wrong server has served the ball. In the referee's opinion, the left back on the red team moved too quickly and overlapped the center back. Illegal alignment is called. 
are your serving forget-me-not. There's only one. If the opponent never, ever had full control of the serve, it's an ace, period. Now, to wrap up stat serve, here's how to know when you've made a mistake. If the total service aces and reception errors are different. Now, be safe out there in these volleyball streets. And if the stats get too hard, just remember to cheer and leave the heavy lifting to the pros. I do. That's all for now, but if you like the content, leave a comment below, spike the like button, and subscribe to my channel.